Hello everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to have a little fun and title this presentation, Your Room Doesn't Care What You Want. I get a lot of people uh, calling me or, or uh, filling out our room forms and citing me all their personal preferences. Well, I have this amplifier, I have this speaker, it's made by this company, and the room really could care less about any of that. It cares about the size and number of your low frequency drivers, but that's really about it when it comes to speakers. So it really doesn't care about the quality level of your gear. It really only cares about the quantity of energy that that gear is going to produce in the room. Here's a one I get all the time for home theater people. I want three subwoofers in my 11 foot, eight foot high, 13 foot long room. Probably shouldn't have one, but wants three. So the, the room size and volume simply can't support that kind of energy. Here's another one that I get. I want to put my speaker here. The room will tell you where your speaker needs to go. There's two variables that we have to consider. Critical distance, which is that magic spot, which is the balance between the direct and the reflected energy in the room. The direct sound from the speakers the reflected energy from the room. There's also a term called Schroeder frequency. You can think of Schroeder frequency of the, as a crossover, like a speaker crossover. It's a crossover for the room, just like a crossover in a speaker sends certain frequencies certain ways. The Schroeder frequency is a frequency at which kind of the wave or the, the rays break in the room, if you will, and how they behave, what frequency they're they're, they're good at up to and what frequency they're not afterwards. But we'll go into that for another video. But the room tells you, using the laws of physics, where your speakers need to be, where your listening position needs to be, how far the speakers need to be away from the sidewall. They really got nothing to do with your personal preference. Here's another one that people miss a lot. Exterior noise versus the interior amber ambient pressure levels. You have 85 and 90 dB external noise sources, even 80 dB, and you have a two by four frame structure, and you're gonna have high, higher pressure levels inside the room because of the external noise. So that has to be dealt with first, no matter what you put in it, no matter what speaker you put in it, no matter what amplifier you put in it, no matter what usage you use of the room. And usage is a critical factor. You must define what you're going to use the room for and then apply the laws of physics to it. For example, let's look at a vocal room versus a drum room. Completely different. Completely different isolation requirements. Completely different noise requirements. Completely different size and volume requirements. Completely different treatment requirements. So out of the two main treatments technologies that we have available to us, we have absorption and diffusion. Those all vary depending on usage. So the usage of the room and applying the particular qualities that room gives you with size and volume, that'll tell you where everything needs to go. So you want to kind of keep your personal choices out of it. Pick your usage, define what you want to do in the room, and then find the room that has the right dimensions to support that usage you'll be way better off. Now, yes, there's minimums, and, and yes, you can go too big, although I have never seen that issue. I always see too small. So define your usage and then get the room. Don't take an existing room and just say, well, I'm going to make it a control room. Well, then you're not maybe matching the usage to the size and volume that you've chosen. So all of these variables have to be taken into consideration. So try to push your ego out of it and your personal preferences out of it. Let the room tell you what it needs. It'll make your job a lot easier. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, Send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel, 
and keep uh, updated on our new videos.